on guys this is apple tech 752 and in this video i'm going to show you how to completely bypass icloud activation lock on your iphone 4s with a brand new sliver v4.5 this method is completely untethered and works on any ios version meaning after the bypass you can reboot and restart your device power off do whatever you want and you're still going to be bypassed forever untethered so let's jump straight into it first thing we're going to do is head over to my website and download the latest version of Sliver, which is 4.5 for Mac OS Mojave or High Sierra. I do not recommend using this on Catalina. And then if you haven't already, go ahead and watch my video on how to set up your Arduino because you're going to need an Arduino to get your device into Pond DFU mode. So I go over all the steps in this video, every single thing you need to do to get your Arduino set up. So just go ahead and watch this and you'll know everything you need to know. Next, we're going to head over to Sinecuck's official GitHub page, which is just github.com slash and then we're going to go to repositories and click on Checkmate A5. And here, just click on code and download the zip to your desktop. So let's bring the file out here and unzip it. And now this is the folder we're going to be using, so go ahead and rename it from Checkmate A5 Master to Checkmate A5. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the Arduino application. If you don't know how to use the Arduino, then just watch my other video. I explain everything you need to know about this whole process. And once we get the window right here, click on File, Open, and click on the desktop. Select Checkmate A5 and click checkmateA5.ino and click open. And now we're gonna close the window behind it and change this from 8942 to 8940. Now, as you can see, I have my Arduino board right here. This is a combination of the Arduino Uno and the Arduino USB host shield. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the computer using this USB cable right here. So with my Arduino board connected, as you can see, there's the nice green light. All I'm gonna do is click on Upload, and it's gonna go ahead and compile the sketch and upload it. And as you can see right here, it says Done Uploading. If it gives you some sort of error about a port, then just click on here and select the right Arduino Uno port. But once you have that uploaded, you should be all set. So now I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the Arduino and I have my iPhone 4S right here that is activation locked. Let me just show you again. Here we are in the activation lock page. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into DFU mode. So to do that, we first have to connect it to the computer. So I'm gonna connect my 4S right now. And now I'm gonna go ahead and power it off. And now hold the home button. Keep holding the power and the home together and now let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And we're gonna go ahead and launch iTunes. And just like this, iTunes says our phone is in recovery mode. That's fine, so go ahead and quit iTunes. Now we're gonna unplug our device from the computer. Mine is unplugged. And now let's go back over to our Arduino board. Right here, I'm gonna plug the white USB cable into this port up here. And then I'm gonna plug my Arduino Uno right now into the computer. And just like this, we get a red LED that flashes three times. And as you can see now, it's a solid color that's lit right here. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug our device. And now let's plug it back into the computer. And as you can see, iTunes opened right up and told us we're in recovery mode. That is actually perfect. If iTunes doesn't open on its own, then make sure you open iTunes because you do want to make sure you get this pop-up. Now we're gonna quit iTunes and we can actually quit Arduino as well. And now with this DMG file you open that has sliver in it, go ahead and double click it. Click on skip. And right here, you should get a pop-up. 
go ahead and open up this README with text edit and follow all the steps in this README. So we're gonna open up a terminal window. First of all, we're gonna drag Sliver into our applications folder. So let's go to Finder, File, New Finder window, go to Applications, find your entire applications folder right here, and then just drag and drop Sliver inside. And just like this, it's copying it over to our applications folder. Here it is. Now let's click on Show Package Contents, go into here, Contents, Resources, and select this folder. Now we're gonna go back into terminal and type sudo chmod r 755 and we're gonna drag and drop the resources folder. And it's gonna ask you for your computer password. And just like this, Sliver is all set up and ready to use. We can now close out a terminal, close out of the readme, close out of the DMG file in this window as well, and go back inside of Finder, go to our applications, and double click Sliver to open it. Now that we are inside of Sliver v4.5, all we have to do is click on A5 bypass. And as you can see, I am working on a bypass for all of these devices. However, the 4S is the first one I finished, so I'm gonna be demonstrating that one in this video. And of course, I'll have all sorts of tutorial videos on the way for these other devices. Just click on iPhone 4S, click on instructions, and as you can see, this part right here explains the Arduino process. And if you don't know what you're doing, then just click on this button right here or watch the video I showed. It's basically the same thing. And now we're gonna click on load RAM disk. And this is gonna go ahead and put our device into the RAM disk state where we're gonna be able to delete setup app. And just like this, our device is verbose booting. And it shows the nice little progress bar right here. So click on OK. And now we're gonna click on relay device info and delete setup.app. And just like this, our device is rebooting and we're gonna be back to a screen with no iCloud. So let me go ahead and disconnect it right here because we are all done with the computer. And I'm gonna zoom in on this device and show you that we are going to boot straight up to the home screen. All right, and just like this, we are inside of the phone. So let's go ahead and slide to unlock, click OK. I'm gonna go into the settings app right now and show you that we are on iOS 9.3.5, right here, 9.3.5. Now I'm gonna go ahead and restart the device to show you that this is a fully untethered bypass. So I'm gonna to slide to power off right now. I'll wait a few seconds for the device to actually power itself off. And now I'm going to power the device back on and let's wait for it to boot up. And just like this, as you can see, we are right back on the home screen. So we have indeed bypassed 100% untethered. You can now use your iPhone 4S perfectly normal. Of course, the usual, you know, calls, FaceTime, iMessage, iCloud, none of that stuff is gonna be fully functional because you don't have a baseband ticket. If you wanna learn more about that, then I highly suggest checking out reddit.com slash r slash setup app, where all we talk about is setup.app, removal and mitigation methods. It's a great place to post your questions and just join the community where we talk about iCloud Bypass. Of course, follow me on Twitter at AppleTech752. Visit me on Instagram, also at AppleTech752. And until next time, have a great day. Stay tuned for more videos and peace out.